Hi everyone. Did you know that there's varying and different degrees of stress and how it affects our body? So this is really interesting. And so if you are here and you have ever felt stress, which probably why you're here, um, just wanted to dive into that subject today because it's, it's very interesting on how much our body can take. And so for those of you that are new here to my channel, I just wanted to welcome you. My name is Sally Harris, and I am a firm believer that every mom deserves a support system during this difficult time you're going through. And I am a mom who walked a difficult road with my own daughter for over 10 years. And um, all the while, literally while her life was spiraling out of control, mine did the same. And I now have the honor of helping moms kind of walk through this situation um, you know, with their adult child and help the mom find hope and peace. So let's dive into this subject. So research shows that there's three, um, and there may be more, but three degrees of stress, which is quite interesting because stress is inevitable in life, right? Overall. Um, but interestingly enough, there's a positive, a tolerable and a toxic level. And so the positive, the first one, the positive it is where you have brief increases in heart rate, mild elevations in stress hormone levels. Now those are kind of just everyday stressors in my opinion. Those are just things that we, um, you know, you might have a little argument or you have, um, maybe you are, you, you were fearful of something and your body reacted. So those are just varying levels of positive, positive stress, um, small amounts basically. The second one is tolerable. Our body's very tolerable. And, but those are more like serious temporary trust, stress responses that are buffered by supportive relationships. So, this is someone who is under a good amount of stress, but it's tolerable because they're getting the help and guidance and love that they need. Um, maybe not from that particular person that they're having the issue with. And in this case, it might be your adult son or daughter, um, but they have other relationships in their life that support that, okay? And then the last level is toxic. And so the, the the worst degree of stress is the toxic, and that's prolonged activation of our stress response system in our body. And most of those people don't have a supportive relationship um, or you know community around them. And so that's quite interesting how it talks about prolonged activation because you and I all are dealing with positive and even tolerable stresses, but when you when you get into a situation like quite likely what you're in right now and what I was in, um, so many things happen physically, emotionally, spiritually, and our bodies are very tolerable and they're amazing, um, but you you can only push them so far, right? Without having negative consequence, and so. The toxic, pro, toxic prolonged activation of these stress hormones, the, which I talk about a lot, the fight or flight mode. Um, I just wanna share a few things that happens to our body and maybe some symptoms that you um, might be experiencing uh, for the toxic prolonged activation. Uh, the first one is physical pain. And I've done videos just on that because I dealt with a lot of physical pain. I dealt with a lot of back pain and sciatica. And it took me a long time to realize that it was emotional. It was emotional pain manifesting in a physical, physical pain. So um, there, there, like I said, there are videos on that. And the second one is where you can't regulate your own emotions. You are up and down and all over the place and you can't seem to get steady. Um, third is social isolation. I know a lot of moms who are either embarrassed or um, you know don't want to talk about it. Maybe they're more private people and they don't want to share what's going on with their family. Um, but I encourage you that that is the quickest way to recovery. It is the quickest way to recovery is to have a support system around you. Um, number four is anxiety. If you're feeling a lot of anxiety, um, I know I've said this before, but for me, what I, I didn't even realize how much anxiety I had in my body until I didn't. I thought that way of feeling was normal, uh, which is kind of scary. But for me, it was like electrical zaps. It's almost like I had my finger in a light socket all the time. 
And it wasn't until I got everything under control that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not feeling that anymore. And it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, the next one is sleep issues. Super, super common for moms. For a lot of people in general, but for a lot of moms, you're having sleep issues. Either you're waking up in the middle of the night, can't go back to sleep because the head, you know, your brain's just going and you're thinking of everything. Um, or maybe you're not sleeping at all. So, and then lastly, um, another big one that hit me was alcohol. And so when you have that prolonged activation of the stress response, we tend to just numb it. And there's a lot of videos on my channel about that too, but numbing your pain, just remember you're numbing your joy too. And um, it is not going to end well. Um, it isn't going to do you any favors, I promise you that. Um, so for those of you that are maybe dealing with that, I also, I mean, I have six years almost seven, six, six and a half years. Sobriety, um, crazy, it's gone so fast and um, literally the best decision I ever made. So i um, not saying everyone has to quit drinking, I'm just saying if it becomes a problem, you really wanna take a look at it because your life can totally change. So I hope that helps and you know, just remembering to keep your stress under control and there's a lot of things we do. Um, I work with moms one-on-one -on -one, and we have um, a variety of ways that we can work together. And so if we've never chatted before and you want to click on the link below for my discovery call, um, we can communicate for 30 minutes on Zoom and we can talk about your situation a little bit more um, and I can share how I can help you. So I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.